Hi guys! Bless Monday Thursday sa ating mga Katoliko. Today, I will take you to San Giovanni Rotondo. What is San Giovanni Rotondo? It's the name of a town and commune in the province of Foggia and region of Apulia in southern Italy. San Giovanni Rotondo was the home of St. Pio of Pietralcina from July 28, 1916 until his death on the 23 September of 1968. Who is St. Pio? Whose feast we celebrated on September 23 is one of the most famous and beloved saints of the 20th century. As a humble Capuchin priest, he was the recipient of some of the most astonishing spiritual gifts, the stigmata, by location, healing, prophecy, and the ability to read soul. He quickly gained the attention of thousands due to the countless miracle attribute to him. Crowds travel from all over the world to meet him or to have him hear their confession. To this day, the story about his miracles continue to inspire belief in those who were previously skeptical. As we all know, Jesus performed countless miracles by his own power throughout his public ministry, demonstrate his divinity and to the point of to his heavenly kingdom. Of course, the saints do not perform miracles by their own power, but are channels of God's power. He worked through them and through the conformity of their will to His. Still, we can see that Padre Pio and his miracle were humble reflection of Christ Himself. Five miracles that Padre Pio was known for. Number one is the healing of crippled man. Francesco Santarello was crippled man with a club pit, dubbed the village of Idiot of San Giovanni Rotondo, unable to walk. He would drag himself along the ground on his knees with the assistance of small crutches. One day, a Padre Pio was walking by Francesco, cried out, Padre Pio, give me a blessing. Padre Pio looked at the man and said, throw away your crutches. Francesco was stunned and did not move. Padre Pio shouted again, I said, throw away your crutches, and left the man walking into the church to say Mass. Happened, Francesco would never use his crutches again. Number two is healing the blind. One of the most beautiful miracles of Padre Pio is the cure of Lelo Fegna. Lelo was a Jewish man who had suddenly become blind. He was brought to Padre Pio by a priest in the hope of a cure. Number three, miracles through an object. Healing of Sister Teresa Salvadores. She used the gloves of Padre Pio and she put it on her side of her body and then she dreamed of it that night and the next morning she was healed. Four of miracles is casting out demon. Padre Pio cast demon out of several people and had physical altercation with Satan himself. Number five is defying the law of nature. This is the witness of Padre Carmelo of Cesano, who was the superior of Padre Pio's priory between 1953 and 1959. Other friars attending a show at a concert hall that adjoined the friary. During the intermission, Padre Carmelo recalls seeing Padre Pio lean forward and rested his head and arms on the back of the chair in front of him, silent and motionless. But he's just napping or resting. But the next morning, the family of a sick man came to see him and they said that they saw Father Pio in their house and healing his family. Now that explain him why Padre Pio was motionless or napping that time. Padre Pio was once asked by a sick woman who whom he had cured if he was a saint. No, he replied, I am a creature who served the Lord through his miracle. Padre Pio did not like attention he received from being a miracle worker. Whenever a person came to him for a cure, he usually gave a quick reply such as, 
Let us pray to God. He always made sure to point people back to the source of the miracle, and that is God. Padre Pio was noted for his charity and pity and was canonized in 2002 by Pope John Paul. Padre Pio's famous saying, Pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, follow, and subscribe. Thank you.